What's up, fam? Welcome back for another jam-packed Sunday video. Today, we're going to talk about emergency funds and what exactly emergency funds are and how to decide when you're actually in an emergency fund and when you need to utilize this. So to give you a little background, on August 8th, 2020, the tropical storm, Asaias, that was originally a hurricane when it was down in the Bahamas and Florida, came up to the East Coast, New York area, and it caused devastation its whole way up the coast. By the time it hit New York, where me and my family are, it was downgraded to a tropical storm. However, that didn't matter. This storm was here for a measly four hours. That was it, from 12 to 4 p.m. on August 8th. And it caused the most devastation we have seen in New York in a very long time, as well as the other surrounding states as well. So on that day, Around 12 o'clock, we started getting the rain, the wind, and around 2.30, we lost power. And this is very important. The next couple days, we were in an extreme heat wave. So, you know, when we were going to get power back, and with a newborn, what are your options? It's an emergency. Baby needs to be in comfortable temperatures. You don't want the baby overheating. You know, they don't sweat yet, so they can't really cool themselves down. So this was deemed as an emergency for our family. And that's why it's so important to have an emergency fund. I'm gonna go into a little more detail on the fund and everything later and what you need or should be striving towards. But for now, we deem this as an emergency. And at the time, we didn't know when we were getting power back. We ended up getting it back on Saturday, August 8th. At 2 a.m. in the morning. So, what were our options? Family was all out of power, as well in the surrounding area. We had to go to a hotel. Now, first thing now, we're in the coronavirus, so had to make sure that everything was good, all precautions were taken. We luckily were enough to find a hotel, and we were actually one of the first people, because the second day, it was very busy. But being that everyone now knew that a lot of people were out of power, the prices went straight up, so what do you do? And this is where the financial dad spice comes in. So my wife and I have always had a vacation shortlist of places we wanted to go. And one of them was Maine. So we hopped on Expedia and we checked the prices. And it turns out that Maine's prices were much lower than New York per night stay. So we decided to just pack up the car and go to Maine. I will be dropping some pictures in. Thank you. 
the importance is having that emergency fund and making sure that your finances are all straight. You do not want to be doing this on a credit card or having to take out more debt. You want to be doing this where you've already financially set yourself up. This is deemed an emergency and you try to do it as financially responsible as you could. And that's why we chose Maine to have our vacation slash mini emergency. And the only reason we were able to do this was because we put that emergency fund in place over the past couple years of our lives. So without further ado, what is an emergency fund? An emergency fund is a pile of money that is allocated just for emergencies. This is not retirement money. This isn't money that you have in equity in your house or equity in your car. It is for an emergency and you keep it in the bank, usually in a money market account, or if you want, there's some crazy things you could do with CD ladders. Uh, that will be in another video. I will talk about that and explaining what a CD ladder is. But that being said, this isn't money that you're trying to take risk on or trying to grow. It's there to cushion any losses. It's an emergency. It's just like car insurance. You pay for it and you hope that you never have to use it. And that's why you don't really want to take risks with it. It's strongly against. So that being said, the goal is to have between three to six months. So if we go off what the average income is in the United States, it's about $50,000. So if you make the average income to make the numbers easier, the way you derive your emergency fund is off of your yearly or monthly expenditures. So if you make $50,000, we're going to back out the taxes, which is roughly 22%. Your state may vary. So if you make 50,000, you deduct out the 22%, which will be $11,000 in taxes, you would come up with $39,000 a year. Then when you break that up into weekly, it comes out to be $750. Now we want you to go off of your actual expenditures. So we're going to take out any money for retirement and, you know, other savings goals. So we're going to say 10%. So 10% of $50,000 a year comes out to be $100 a week, which takes you down to $650. So assuming that you spend $650 every single week, to shoot for a six month emergency fund, you would be looking at $16,900. Or if you were on the close to the three month side, it would be $8,450. So to wrap that up, your goal is to get to those numbers if that's the amount of money you're making, but ultimately it goes off of what your expenses are. And then you want to find a good bank that you can safely keep this money in. My personal advice is you want to not leave it in the primary bank that you bank with because you want to make it hard to get. You don't want it to be, oh, I went out, I saw this nice uh, watch or great lease deal on a car and you're like, oh, well, I have some money. That's not what this is for. This is for pure emergencies, like the one that I had detailed in the beginning of this video. You wanna make it very hard to get to because you don't want it to be easily accessible. So this way you can go spend it on things that aren't actual emergencies. So with that fam, that's your Sunday video. I hope that you have a great start to your week and you enjoyed the content. If you did, comment below. If you wanted me to add any of the other videos that I had referenced up for next week, 
And if you enjoyed this, hit a like and subscribe and follow my channel, you know, The Financial Dad. Winners start on Sunday. We power through the week and we finish strong. I'll see you next Sunday and I hope you have a great week.